All right, we're just warming up a little bit right now. Back day, big back day. Four weeks out from my show, so intensity is ramped up a couple notches. Today we're gonna to be really concentrating on, on back width. So let me break it down real quick for you guys. When we're talking about the back, I kind of break it down in four different little areas. You have your, your outer and upper lat, this area here, which gives you that nice V taper, you know, when you have a nice tight waist. Your lower lat, which is largely genetic in terms of where it inserts, but with things like close grip pull downs, which we're gonna to do today, you can build that so you have that nice, starts nice and low. Then you have your middle back, rhomboids, your traps. Traps I train with my arms. If you guys watched that arm trainer not too long ago, I train my traps along with my arms. So we want big but not overdeveloped traps. We want a nice wide lats, tiny waist that start, you know, the lat line starts as low as possible, and then thickness. And then at the bottom, you have your erectors. And those really give you that Christmas tree. Um, deadlifts, good mornings, hyperextensions, all of those things give you that. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of everything today. This is gonna be probably the best well-rounded back workout you've done to hit each and every one of these areas. So I'm gonna warm up with some renegade rows, I'm warming up some shoulders, and we're gonna jump straight into it with wide grip pull-ups. Three sets here, renegade rows, push up, row, push up, row. And then I'm just gonna also warm up the shoulders a little bit. I did cut the sleeves off this shirt. So if you guys want this one, you go on the site and get it on Soldier Nation, but you gotta cut off the shirts. One of the things I always tell people, so I don't, I'm not a big fan of, of straps. Um, you need to be able to fill the bar. But on back day, especially for beginners, a lot of times your grip is gonna be the first thing that goes. Or your biceps. Maybe your biceps aren't as strong as your back. Your biceps are your weak link when we're training back. So straps on some things on back, like pull-ups, last couple sets of pull-ups, your grips, forearm and biceps might wear out before your back does. If that's the case, get yourself some good straps. If you guys have ever seen one of my back workouts, you probably notice a lot of these exercises I'm gonna be doing. But we're gonna be doing a couple new things today. Also switching up the order. So pre-exhausting. For those of you guys that know what pre-exhausting is, we're pretty much taking the back, gonna do an isolation movement for it, and then we're gonna do a compound stuff. So I'm gonna be doing straight bar pullover. And what we're doing here. Just pre-exhausting the lats, especially the lower lats. And by doing so, we're gonna fail first in our back rather than our biceps or triceps. So if we went from this, or if we start off with a big heavy compound movement, we might burn out our tricep or our biceps and forearms before our back. So we're also using this as a little bit more of a warm-up. We're gonna go three sets of 10 on this and then we're gonna do the compound movement, wide grip pull-ups. Woo! 
because Terry's, Terry's majors, Terry minor, on fire right now. That means we can jump into the compound movement. Wide grip lats. We're going wide um, for the first couple sets. So really, my weak area is needing more lat width. So we're gonna go wide, and then we're gonna go close together, reverse, really targeting those lower lats. Um, and then we're gonna jump into one of my favorite rowing. It's a little bit different than a barbell or a dumbbell row. I actually do it on a machine. Hopefully your guys' gym, your gym has one of these because it's a great back workout. So close grip, we do the wide grip to really focus on that outer lat and the mid lat. Now we're focusing on that lower lat with the close grip and the key on this one is to just pull up as high as you can. If you can't get your chin over the bar on these chin-ups, get a friend, a partner, some random person in the gym. You don't probably want to ask that cute girl in the gym though. Hey, will you come spot me? I can't, I can't get it up on my own. I mean, I can't get up over the bar on my own. If you guys, you guys are feeling strong, if I were to do this the other way around, if I was gonna do the chin-ups first, we get a weight belt, and we do, we do these probably 20 to 30 pounds. If you guys can get to the point where you're just smashing out 12 to 15, no problem, even five or six sets down, we're only taking about 45 seconds between sets here. If you're still just getting 12 to 15, no problem, add weight, get a belt, hang onto a dumbbell with your feet. Gotta get at least 10 though. Six sets, try to get 10 on each. Got 12 to 15 the first couple on the wide. That starts us off on a back day. Next up, we're actually be using one of my favorite, favorite things for back that isn't a barbell or a dumbbell or your typical machine. We're gonna go next door and do that. So this is gonna take the place. I would either do a bent over barbell row, which I do, we do pin lay rows, but this one I love because we're able to get such a unique squeeze on that middle part of the back. Like I was talking about the different areas, the middle part of the back is a little bit harder to train. Um, you know, you can do dumbbells and things for it, but this thing, super smooth, and I love that you can just squeeze at the top with it. I'm watching, I've never seen this done. You've never seen this one? I know. I'm about to show Miss Olympia a thing or two. Oh. But you don't need, like, you got such a good, let's see your V tape real fast. No. But you still the back. Real quick. I have the smallest arms. You make fun of me. No, you got small arms, but look at that. Yo, check this out. What? Wow, whatever. No, seriously though. The girl, the girl's got amazing shoulder to shoulder to waist. Gotta love you. Sometimes I'm just like, can you imagine the kids? Wow. That V taper though. Oh my god. Hold on, sorry, I'm getting out. No, you, you want to hop in? No, no, I think so. Are you leaving? No, I'm just going out here. What's up? What? We're just getting cozy in here. I'm just trying to run So this thing, I'm going to have to have once I eventually open up a gym because you can do so many things. It doesn't even have on there bent over row. But what we're going to do, pick it up like where you're going to be doing a deadlift or something. Then we're going to walk the feet out just in front so this would be straight up and down. Walk him out just in front. Buck goes back. And now we're ready to roll. And you can do these with a dumbbell bent over, but because of how this lever comes out, 
you're actually able to lean back in the movement and it takes a lot of stress off your lower back. So this is actually better if you have lower back stuff, which I do, better than just your standard bent over dumbbell or barbell row. This, we're going 12, 10, 8, 6 on here. So we're gonna get heavy. This is a great mass builder. All the way down that stretch and then as I come up, my back comes up slightly, but I'm not standing up with it. Only about right here, all the way back down. It's that squeeze through the top. Gotta get that squeeze in. With a back, any back movement, you can row and pull with the biceps or you can row and pull with the back. And you see that scapula retracting right there. I can just do this all day. Much harder, retract the scapula and then squeeze. Captain thing, working out in the gym, there's no one in. You can't leave your weights for the next person. They know who was in here last. You know, we always say, we always say this, and I like that a lot of you guys retweet this. If you look like a meathead, you gotta go out of your way to not be an a-hole. Re-rock re your weights, hold the door open. Like, the best thing in life you can be is different than everyone else. And like I said, come to the gym, work your butt off, be as big, be as strong, be as lean as you wanna be, but be a good person at the end of the day. Last thing we're gonna be doing here, we're doing a giant set, close grip pull downs, seated row, and then we're gonna be doing um, a, not a pullover, but a, I forgot the name of them, a uh, rack pull, a rack pull. So we're gonna get as many done as we can here. We're gonna up the reps a little bit and just really squeeze, slow and control. days like today on prep where you got enough carbs in you the workouts good you've been on your game with water the pumps there and you just feel like you're on top of the world just realize when you're getting ready for a show you're gonna have days where you feel like everything is going wrong where you don't want you don't even know if you want to compete you don't know if you're gonna be ready so take the good with the bad never let your highs get too high never let your lows get too low be somewhere in the middle as much as you can that being said Last set, best set, grip it, rip it. We just gotta, gotta get through it. And then we're gonna throw a little, a little soldier set in there. Not quite done yet. We got a extra credit. It's fine if you guys wanna stop now. You know, this has been a good workout. You guys have earned that protein shake. Or you dig a little bit deeper. And we started off with renegade rows. We're gonna finish with renegade rows. We're gonna go 30 pounds, and we're just going as far as we can. Kind of intensity and every workout just mentally know that every time you come in the door it's gonna be a dog fight and even in a place where there's pink lettering it's happy in here you just gotta come in and you gotta find that that spot that you have to go to in your head that not everyone can go to not everyone can, can go to that spot in their head where they say no matter what 
I'm, just, I'm not giving up. I'm not gonna quit when I'm tired. I'm gonna quit when I'm done. And because we gotta put these back, we're not gonna walk back. We're gonna roll back. Do whatever is required of you to get the job done. Crawl, fight, scratch. Because if you're not fighting for it, ain't nobody else gonna fight for it. That is it for our back workout. I still have abs today. I train my abs on my back day because these muscles, again, they tie in together. So I got abs and then I'm done for the day. Gonna do posing, some stretching. Good luck with that workout, guys.